what it do YouTube slash Patreon slash Bit Shoot. Today's video, I want to chime in with a quick impromptu video. In today's video, I want to talk about their whole objective is to keep everyone on a low vibration. Their main objective is to keep everyone on a ma on a low vibration. So, you know, you know, some people don't want to believe it or they're just too scared to because, you know, their life has always been a lie and they don't want to believe that. But, you know, I already came to terms with that and I already came to the truth with that. Like, damn, you know, the shit that we've been doing out here asking and it's and it's human experience, it's all been a lie, it's all been a sham, it's all been a bad rules for me. But with that, it's <laughs> not so funny. But um, the thing about it is, you got these uh, demonic entities out here that say they push the truth. You know what I mean? And a lot of these people are connected to these secret societies. They're just like the fucking, um, what you call them? They're just like bootlickers. You know, they, they like fucking, um, Privates, you know how like you in the military you got a system of rank and order. That's the same thing with these bootleggers out here. You know they got the little people that's on the street. You know that really don't got no power and shit. They out here pushing these lies and shit and stuff like that. A lot of these people sold they soul for material, material gain, or material riches and shit. Now let me explain this because because a lot of people out here slow, they dumb as fuck. You know what I mean? I hate to say it like that, but that's just the truth. A lot of people out here is dumb and stupid as fuck. And when I say one thing, they, they think it's, you know, like they think I'm not aware of the other thing. I'm very aware of a lot of shit. You know, I just play dumb. Be smart, play dumb. You know, niggas still in my style and shit. But hey, I don't even consider still in my style. It's just a form of flattery. You know, you want to be like me. You want to look like me. You want to act like me. You can't be me because my chemical makeup is completely different than yours. But I see the effort. But anyway, on some real shit though, so it's like, um, like for example, right? So, like a lot of people, right? When I say they sold, they sold. Because a lot of people, they, I don't know, like, they let people trick them into believing certain shit. Like, for example, when I say this, when I say, survive now unless you are unless you a master manifester where you can manifest things into reality by thought or by words or by vibratory frequency you see what i mean that's a different story if you're not on that level yet then you need the money back even, even if you is on that level sometimes you still need the money to survive in this system because that's just how this system operates so when i say money ain't everything no shit, it ain't everything, but you still need to survive in the system. No shit, I shouldn't have to explain that, Sherlock. A lot of you motherfuckers slow. A lot of you motherfuckers just agents anyway, you know, just trying to get a reaction. But it's funny because, like, I'm from a different, completely different bloodline. You ain't you ain't ready for this shit. You know what I mean? You ain't ready for this shit. You know, I'm like a mix of everything in one. You know what I mean? And another thing is, too, why, why these entities want to keep us on a low vibration is because... They know it's a lot of people out here from different states, different countries, mainly in America and North America, you know, in South America as well, mainly in North America and Haiti and fucking Jamaica and just all these different countries. It's just Israelites spread everywhere. But you have a lot of people that come from a very special royal bloodline. And when I say that, that don't mean that we think we better than nobody and no shit like that. We could probably go through more struggles than y'all. You know what I mean? But thing is it's like our brain works differently and you have a lot of people out here that's still under the curses they still sleep we call them sleeping giants i was one of those sleeping giants and to a certain extent i am still one of those sleeping giants and shit because because um you know you know like every you can't be aware of 100 percent of everything and i'm the type of person i don't mind learning new shit you know sometimes i might be slow to learn a new shit but i'm not against learning new things, you know, I'm not against trying new things, I might be slow trying new things, I, I don't know, but, excuse me, but overall, I'm willing to try new shit, because that's the only way you can expand, that's the only way you can use your judgment, how you want to judge somebody, or for them to do it, because you don't experience, or take part in the shit that they do, oh, that motherfucker did this, 
it's not me saying it's the baby. You know, I mean, they live their life like this. Worry about your own goddamn life. Your life's so fucked up. All you can, only thing you can do is focus on somebody else's life. Fix your own life and everything will start to fall into place. And that's what I had to start to learn by myself. Just focus on your own shit. Things are starting to fall into place. Everybody want to worry about what this celebrity doing and all that. And listen, celebrities, they still humans too. I mean, some might be reptilians and human skin and shit. But you got a lot of regular motherfuckers. Get the fuck off me. You got a lot of, a lot of regular motherfuckers out here that's reptilians and human skin too. You know, with the fucking those sleeper cells and all these. That's a, man, that's a lot of shit out here in the world. Man, that shit, even watching too many movies. And nah, 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 nah. You ain't been watching enough movies. With your small minded ass. Nah, that shit funny as hell though, but real shit though. Like, this is like, it's so much crazy shit out here in the world that you have to, you gotta start from the basics though. Like, you gotta start from the basics and the simple shit that. It's a lot of sleeping giants out here. Meaning, it's a lot of people out here, no matter what ethnicity or nationality from, they got a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge, but they've been dumbed down by the foolish they've been doing, by the people they've been around, and by the shit they watch on TV, and you know, they just been dumbed down by just the shit that, that they partake in, and they sleeping giants. And these are the type of people, if they ever woke up to see what's really going on and to actually accept the truth, they'd be some powerful motherfuckers in this world because they got this they mind. See, everything, see, everything that you need in this world, you're already born with it. But once you're born into the satanic system, they put, like, for example, gardening. When your soil is fucked up and you got to re-amend it. See, when you come to this earth, right, it's already planting shit already here, right? So if it's planting shit already here and it's growing, the soil, everything that's in the soil, it was already, everything that was already on this planet, that was birthed on this planet, everything that, the grass and the nature that mother nature needs is already here. It was birthed with it. Just like humans, everything that we need, we're already born with it. And once you, like like your soil and gardening, once your soil gets fucked up and you start to reuse it and reuse it, you have to re-amend it. You have to put more nutrients in it. You have to put more add-ons to it to keep the shit up to par. Just like when you're born into the society. Yeah, we're born with everything that we need in this world. Our brain, our heart. You know what I'm saying? Our soul, our courage. You see what I mean? Intelligence, things of that nature. But then in the satanic system, you need money. And again, they can give you a car, they can give you a driver's license, they can give you all the shit you gotta need. A passport, you see all this extra shit that's being put on you, clothes and all this shit. And of course, you gotta wear clothes because you need to have some fucking decency. Only people that don't wanna have decencies is fucking Neanderthals, Jezebels and shit. You see what I mean? Motherfuckers that wanna. You, you, you get what I'm saying. And. The thing about it is, that's what's going on. So they keep our vibration low, and they keep certain people's vibration even lower than others. Because I remember when I was younger, my vibration used to be so fucking low, it wasn't even funny. But I was still powerful on the spiritual level. That I still used to peep shit, but I wasn't peeping. I wasn't peeping that shit with the clairvoyance and the clarity that I really needed to peep it with. Because the foods I was eating, the TV I was watching, the motherfuckers I was hanging around, just the shit I was partaking in. You see what I mean? Like, it kept me on a low level. And once I started to wake up and really start to hear the truth and accept that shit, my mind just started expanding and expanding and expanding and expanding. And then, you know, my my brain, my soul, it just craved more and more knowledge. And that's how you know that you're a sleeping giant or that's how you know that you, excuse me, a powerful soul that came back. Because once you start to find out the real truth, you just fucking fly, get back. Fuck off me, ho. Nah, that shit funny, but uh, um, once you start to crave more knowledge, or once you start to wake up, and your soul starts to realize the truth, you're going to start craving more and more knowledge. And you'll know, certain people, when they hear knowledge, I ain't trying to hear that shit. That shit ain't real. This shit can't be possible. Like, mind is so small. Like, they mind is like this and shit. Small as fuck. You know, just shriveled up. And it's not that we better than these people or like that. It's just that we was in the same predicament and we were trying to help it out. But at the same time, you can't save everybody. Like J. Cole said, you can't save these motherfuckers. They don't want to be saved. So leave their ass to perish. And that's just how it goes. That might sound cruel and shit, but what's more cruel? You trying to save somebody and they keep on pushing you away and all that shit? You trying to help a motherfucker and they keep pushing you away? Or a motherfucker that just, they, they don't give a fuck how they live their life. They know they're going to die anyway, so just let them leave them motherfuckers to do what they're going to do. You see what I mean? So you got to really wake up with this shit. So they put 
about these little entities and shit, these little foot soldiers, and you got motherfuckers out here, you know, spreading lies, and you know they're part of the of, of the promotional team of these so-called elites, these so-called reptilians. You know, they are part of their promotional team where they push these low vibrational agendas. They push the shit to make motherfuckers look up, look down, look right. But they keep you looking at everything except for your goddamn self. It's like with these scary movies. Like when I was a kid, I used to watch the scary movies. Freddy Krueger, Chucky, Candyman. Uh, what's the Bloody Mary, all that shit. You know what that shit do? It scares you, so you be scared to look in the mirror. And the only thing when you look in the mirror is that you're scared of, you're scared of yourself. When you stare in the mirror, that's all you see is yourself. Some motherfuckers so disgusted, so nasty, they can't even look in the mirror. And if they do look in the mirror, they use all their power, all their might to convince themselves that they're doing something right. And I wasn't even trying to rhyme, but that shit rhymed. And they try to convince themselves that I can look in the mirror, this and that, I can do this. No, you, you're forcing yourself to do it. You see what I mean? So it's like these people, they fit, you know, like. They can't look in the mirror, and that's what these scary movies do to you. They, they make you so scared of yourself that when you look in the mirror, you get scared. Oh, shit, they go bloody Mary, they go candy. No, motherfucker, they got you scared of yourself. When you become scared of yourself, you're scared of Mother Nature. You're scared of the creator because we co-creators. We were made in his image, in his likeness. You see what I mean? And that's the thing. This is for people that have souls. Everybody out here don't got no soul. Just because a motherfucker look good and all that, like me. I'm a good-looking dude. I'm very attractive and all that shit. But all these other motherfuckers out here, all these other good-looking guys that played these women and, you know, broke their heart and all that shit, they make it look bad for me. You know what I mean? So when other real, real, genuine, good-looking guys come around, oh, he probably fucking all these hoes. He probably did this and he did that. Like, just, just talking shit, just prejudice bitches. And he did this and he did that. Oh, no good-looking guys. That guy will break my heart. No, bitch. The motherfuckers you fuck with gonna break your heart. You see what I mean? So it's like a bad stereotype. It's just like you want to flip it around. All these pretty looking girls out here that look good and they use their body and all that shit to get what they want. You know, that's just going over there screwing around men and breaking men hearts. Because the world we live in, men ain't got no feelings. Men do got fucking feelings. You see what I mean? And then when another a genuine, genuine good looking girl come around, she's actually genuine. She got manners. She wholesome and shit like that. Wife material. You get skeptical and shit because you're like, damn, I done dealt with these, these type of chicks before, but... You can't put that stigma on everybody. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? So everything fucked up. They got us all on low vibrations and shit. Just, just paranoid and all that shit because that's the whole objective to keep us on a low vibration. Because when you're on a low vibration, fear and unawareness is the two biggest things that lower your vibration. That and the, the GMO foods and shit. So just on the spiritual level. Because you know, spiritual physical is hand in hand. You see what I mean? So what goes on in your spirit it's going to take place in your physical. What takes place in your physical going to take place in your spirit. Which basically meaning what you go through on the outside, you're going through on the inside. And what you go through on the inside is going to reflect on the outside. You need a better example. Now, that shit funny. So, for example, if you a dirty, junky motherfucker, that's how you clearly must be on the inside. Your inside is all junky. It's fucked up. And your physical is reflecting that. That's why your clothes everywhere, your clean clean up behind yourself and just disgusting because that's how it is on your inside. Your inside is disgusting. So that's gonna resonate on your physical, on the outside. And you're gonna live just how you feel on the inside. If you're a clean person and that's how you feel on the inside or you're trying to clean up your temple and you're trying to clean up your mind, it's gonna reflect in how you live. It's gonna reflect in how you treat people. You see what I mean? And that's the thing. If somebody treat you bad like that, don't be no fucking pushover and let a motherfucker treat you any kind of way. You better treat that motherfucker. And I ain't talking about the dinner. That's Chicago slang. Treat that motherfucker. Put that motherfucker in their place. You see what I mean? That's what I'm saying. But if it's somebody showing you respect, you show them respect back. And that's the thing. That's when people got this shit twisted. And just because I say this shit, don't that shit. I was raised in manners. I know how to talk to people and treat people. But I ain't about to come out there and let you talk to me any kind of way. You got this shit fucked up. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Or do you understand what I'm saying? Hey, dog, this shit funny. I got to be funny with this shit too, though. But this is real stuff, though. So that's why they got these entities out here pushing all this fear and pushing all this shit and doing this shit because we really living, we really living in the last days. You can see the shit that's going on. I don't believe in that. If you don't believe in that, go watch Disney Channel, motherfucker. Go put your head in the sand or some shit. This ain't for you. This is, and it is just crazy because people, I don't believe in this shit, I don't believe in this shit. Then why you keep coming back to this channel watching this shit? Because clearly some of your soul trying to wake your stupid ass up, but you might be too lost, too gone to realize that. But you can't figure that shit out though. 
you know, if it don't take a rocket science to do this shit. But this is what's really going on, man. Like, we living in the end days, end times. You know, a lot of shit is being revealed, and that's why they're keeping us on a low vibration. That's why they're keeping us divided and fighting against each other, because they don't want you to build bridges with people. If anything, they want you to burn bridges with people. So if you do need help or something like that, you ain't going to have no help. This divide and conquer, they've been doing this shit since the beginning of the time. When I say they, you know what I mean? The Illuminati, the Freemasons, these reptilians, whatever the fuck you want to call them. These ugly ass insects, whatever you want to call them. They've been doing this shit since the beginning of the time. Oh, you black, you white, you Hispanic, you uh, and you this, you that. When before all this shit, it wasn't even about no fucking colors. It was about you treat me with respect, I treat you with respect. You let me learn about your culture. Teach me about your culture, I teach you about my culture. Just that simple, you know what I mean? Everything in life is supposed to be simple, simplistic. It's not supposed to be complex like apartments. Absolute shit, you feel me? But uh, but yeah, man, like, this is real shit, though. So it's just like, just something for your mind. Most people don't have no mind. That's why they can't gravitate towards this shit. Because their mind has been snatched in the middle of the night. And I wonder who did that. Wake the damn up. More videos coming soon.